welcome back for another unboxing. This is hey. the first one of April, isn't it? I believe it is. I think so. Well, all right, just to jump into it. Our first book is The House of Grass and Sky. <gasps> Ooh. Mm -hmm. These children's books get prettier and prettier. They really do. Well, I it's an excuse like it. to do like a bunch of beautiful paintings in a row. Yeah. Why wouldn't you take it? Look at that little ghost girl. So pretty. I like it. Mm-hmm. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Next we have way past jealous. <gasps> she's, oh no. She's not jealous. She's she little past green jealous. Jealous. She's a little green with envy. Mm-hmm. I like her brows. She's got good brows. Mm-hmm. Next we have he's a little puppy. It's just a little guy. His name is Purdue. So cute. Purdue. Oh, happy boy. Oh, boy. Oh. Look at that. Mm. Look at him. He's a little guy in a big city. He's a little guy in a big city. Okay, moving on to adult books. We have next in the series by Anne Perry Death with a Double Edge. <laughs> Look at his face. So intense. Yeah. So intense. I thought he had a mask on at first, but no. Nope. It's Got details. Mm -hmm. Just can't see him. Can't see his eyes. His eyes. Ugh. Okay. Oh. Next we have the Dictionary of Lost Words. Ooh. I feel like that today. I lost my words. You've lost your words. Nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. Maybe, maybe in the library. Maybe. Or maybe in this dictionary. Not a dictionary. In good company. The flowers are keeping good company. They are. They look good together. Mm -hmm. Very I like all those flowers. We're in spring finally. Let's Yay. enjoy it with the flowers. Flowers. Next, we have a novel by C.S. Harris, What the Devil Knows. What the Devil Knows. It's a Sebastian St. Cyr mystery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you're into this series, you got the next one. Find out on the yeah. thrilling, this thrilling adventure of Sebastian. Unless he's the bad guy, I don't know. Make it sound like a TV thing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> next episode of uh, Northern Spy, a novel by Flynn Ferry, mm -hmm. a thrilling tale of espionage in Northern Ireland. I couldn't put it down, says Elizabeth Wetmore. Ooh. So if you like Northern Elizabeth Ireland, said you can't put it down. You can't put it down. Not don't allowed. put it down. Not allowed. Look mm -hmm. at that little house. Oh, hey guy. Hello. Hi. Okay. Next we have a book by Karen White, The Last Night in London. Looks like a period piece. Looks a little bit vintage because I of the clothing. Like it. Yes. Some vintage like photos. Little, cute little photographs. Mm -hmm. Next we have Stargazer by Anne Hillerman, a Leaphorn, Chi, and Manuelito novel. And this one is actually a continuation of a series that her father started writing, but once he passed, she carried it on. Well, there so we go. Good the job. Passing on the torch. I like this little snake in there. I do too. Mm -hmm. Little constellation. I see this. Next we have another Mystery, maybe. Miss Julia, happily ever after. Best-selling author of Miss Julia knows a thing or two. Mm. Is this one of our mysteries? Yes. Nothing is like quite mystery. so simple. Yes. yes. Of course, things couldn't be so simple for Miss Julia. No. No. Like they never be simple. But it's not going to be happily ever after for her. have a novel by Sanjina Sampian, Gold Diggers. Mm -hmm. This is a book about conning and being conned. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's very colorful. I, love I that like color. it. Mm -hmm. There's lemon everywhere. There's lemons. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Cute. Next we have Call Baby by Morgan Jerkins. All right, call baby. Yeah, a deeply Cute. 
and I like to be on survival and inheritance. I like the cover. Ah, it's about motherhood. Ooh. Ooh. Well, there it is. There there's it a is. mom and there's a baby. And it's called called baby. And it has the word baby. Yes, it does. Next, we have a book by Jennifer McMahon, The Drowning Kind. Oh, God. She's drowning in flowers. Oh, no. Don't want to do that. Don't want to oh, open the body no. to flowers. You'll drown them. Don't drown the flowers. Mm -hmm. We just got into spring. Don't drown the flowers. Don't drown the flowers. Next, we have Pieces by Helen Oyeyemi, author of Gingerbread. Hmm. Hmm. Gingerbread. I like the little guy right there. What's like a little name? marmot or an eye eye or something. Yeah. Little dude. Huh. Oh, there we go. Okay, and if anyone has either read the book Annihilation or seen the movie Annihilation, we've got a new one from the author. It's called Hummingbird Salamander. Hmm. I think it's another psychological sci fi thrillery sort. I like all the bubbles. I think it's water. Or water. Mm -hmm. Rain. Yeah, rain. Huh. Cool. Next we have Young Adult. This is a retelling of the story of Aurora. Which one is that? Sleeping Beauty? Be uh, Sleeping, Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty. Yes, this is a retelling of Sleeping Beauty called Malice. I love the cover. Mm-hmm. Little girl is holding the rose. Next we have by Brittany Morris, The Cost of Knowing. The past is only half your story. Mm. And it's got these two brothers on the front. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Deep sibling sibling relationships. Oh, moving. Man. Oh man. It's a tearjerker. It's a tearjerker. I'm guessing. I've never read it. Next we have very famous author, the author of Uglies and Posters, Scott Westerfield with Mirror's Edge. Ooh, look at that. Mm -hmm. She's falling through herself. Fell onto her own head. Mm -hmm. Ah, splitting it in half. All right. Next we have this looks like a junior fiction right here. Ow. And it's the anti book. The anti book. It's not a book. It's an anti book. It's an anti book. Oh. An anti book. So are you not reading? I don't know. I'm not doing reading. the opposite of reading. Which would be writing, I suppose. I'm the anti -book. writing the anti book. It doesn't work. No. <laughs> Next we have another junior fiction. This one is called Too Bright to See. Ooh. It's very pretty. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, close your eyes. It's too bright to see. It's too bright to see. Don't too bright. It. Don't look at it. The back of the book just says, Be yourself a simple phrase. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Oh, you know her. She's lost her snakes. She's lost her shoes. Mm hmm. No, that's not good. Nope. Okay. Or maybe it I'm kind of curious. I don't know. Next, we have one of my personal favorite authors. He's a Japanese author, Haruki Murakami, back with First Person Singular. It's a collection of stories. Mm. He's oh, a strange like existential type of writer, but he's yeah. very enjoyable. It's easy to just flip through Look, quickly and enjoy. Little monkey. That's a little monkey. Little. I think this one is a little hot spring monkey. So yeah. He's hanging on the hot Look springs. His little face is all red because mm -hmm. he's hanging out at the hot spring. Cute. <laughs> okay. Little guy. I think that's all we got for you today. Mm -hmm. We'll be back the next time we get a shipment. Mm -hmm. Check on these within the next couple of days. We should have them out on the shelf. And just like always, if you want to, go ahead and reserve them online or call up to reserve. And don't forget, we have two book clubs running now. We have the Horror Book Club run by my friend Jordan here. And we now have a Sci-Fi Fantasy Book Club run by me. So if you're interested in either of those, call up to the library, ask at the front, oh, like or message White. on the front. Click. You Click. get a cat. <laughs> you get a cat. But yeah, message us on social media or just ask us in person. All right. All right. We'll see you next time. See ya.